Who's Jay? My name's Ashley Lux. Ashley Lux. Okay. Um, so, uh, how long have you been driving? I've been driving total for a year and a half now. A year and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's uh, you work for Cadillac? Right? Yes, I'm a company driver. Okay, yeah, and of course I Central. Right. Yeah. Their work. sister company. Yeah. Was well, yeah, kind of sister. Yeah, they're the same company in a way. Yeah, owned by the same person. Yeah. So, Something so. like that. Yeah. So was Cadillac your first company before? No, or? I drove oh. for Trans Am before. I pulled okay. a, pulled a reefer for six months, and then I came to Cadillac. Okay. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was a great choice. I'm very happy yeah. here. I'm going on a year. Oh, uh, let's see, okay. November 2nd will be a year, yeah. Okay. And what got you into truck driving? Um, honestly, I lost two jobs right before Christmas. Oh, wow. I got laid off, and I never went to college, you know. Yeah. And so I figured I need some kind of training. Yeah. Because the jobs that I lost were the best paying jobs. We live in a very rural area. Yeah. So I saw an ad in the local paper for a truck driving school. And we had tossed the idea around for years, but with him driving. His, his disability, he can't drive, and I'm like, there's no way I can do this. There's no way I can back that thing up. Yeah. I went to school. I would, did seven weeks of school. I passed my test on the first try. Oh, wow. So, That's pretty good. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't know. I questioned the whole time, am I going to like this? Am I going to like driving a truck? My very first day out with a trainer, I drove from Iowa into Colorado, and I'm like, this is it. I'm sold. I love this. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, okay. And never looked back. Yeah. yeah That's good. Yeah. So, seven weeks of dri uh, driving school. Driving school. That was just to get my CDL. Wow. It's a private school, so it wasn't, oh, okay. it wasn't done my company or anything. No okay. private school. And because uh, I went to a private school too, mm -hmm. but it was a uh, regular seventeen days. Right. Uh, it was a short one. Yeah, but uh, but there I, I learned a lot from there for when I went. Yeah. And stuff. So. I got a lot of really yeah. hands-on stuff. And uh, not only did we learn, you know, how to drive and back it up and everything, but we learned how to put chains on, we learned how to slide tandems, we learned how to trip plan with a paper atlas. Yeah. You know, we learned all of these, we learned about hours of service, we learned about all these things that a lot of these schools don't teach, no. that they really should. Yeah, that's good, that, that's a yeah. good school right there. Yeah. If, if you don't mind, do you know what uh, the driving, name of the school? driving school is? It? The name of the driving school is Ozark Driving Institute okay. in uh, Kabul, Missouri. Okay. I was their very first female graduate. Oh, that's wow. cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It, and it's, they house people. I, the state, state of Missouri paid for mine. No. Oh, okay. So it was all paid for. That was pretty good. Yeah. Because when I went, it was the same thing. I went to a grant. Yeah. You had to, had to make between, I think, when I went, it was like between 17000 and 35000 for for me to qualify. Right. And I got like displaced worker because I got laid off. I was on unemployment and everything. Oh, okay. So yeah. They help further training and education and stuff oh, like okay. that. Missouri does. And so far, uh, driving a truck. Uh, I love my like job. I love my job. Yeah, I get irritated by you know people doing stupid stuff. You know, just not paying attention. But we've seen forty out of forty-eight states in a year and a half. Oh, we haven't wow. done the Northwest. We're missing two in New England. Okay. But we've been all over the country. We've we've and we've had chances to see places we've never would have seen before. We've made friends we've done really cool stuff like the truck shows and just getting to go all kinds of places we never would have had the chance to do it before yeah so i absolutely love my job i like the challenge of it too oh yeah, yeah every day is different yeah because yeah, I've, I've been driving for a good uh almost 11 years wow it's coming february yeah and stuff and i love every single minute of it, it mm -hmm. the only time i don't like it like about it is just not being able to see my son right it's right it. But other than that, I love, I love it out here. And it's great for us because it's just the two of us. Yeah. So we, you know, we're always together. Yeah. We just get to hang out all day long. So yeah. it's a great life for us. We both love it. Yeah. That's good. Have you had a chance to bring him with you? Yeah. Take him with you? Yeah. Do you I had like a, it? I, yeah. Yeah. Well, I had him during the summer. Oh, my. Right. Awesome. Stuff, so. so, yeah, he, he loved it. Yeah. Well, at the same time, he was bored because just sitting here looking out the window oh, wasn't man, really fun yeah. for him. But yeah, so we, all they did was be on my phone all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's be still be a neat experience as a yeah. kid. Yeah. So do you got any advice for any other rookie rookie drivers or new drivers that are coming in? For new drivers, yeah, take your time. Take your always, time. always, always take your time. Yeah. Um, whether it's backing or trip planning or whatever, just take your time. Yeah. And don't ever forget that this is not just a job, but it's a lifestyle, yeah. and you have yeah. to commit to it. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to drive a truck. 
the loneliness if you drive solo will drive you crazy yep. the crazy hours the not enough pay you know it'll drive you crazy so you have to love what you do yeah. you do oh yeah yeah because uh of course the first year or two it's not going to be the best no no kind of stuff it's you gradually you're go learning. up yeah Especially the first year. You're going to you're gonna make gonna all your mistakes. Go. You're going to get all your bumps and scratches and backing into stuff out of the way your first year. And then from there, once you start picking up all the tips and the tricks yeah. and the little things that help, yeah. it's just, it, it's a process. Yeah. It is. Uh, have you had any, any like major problem with like out here or anything? I, as a woman, as a female driver, yeah. I've never had any problems. But then again, I'm always with somebody. Yeah. So, I mean, I've never been, I've never been harassed on the radio. I've never been harassed anywhere. But it's about paying attention to your surroundings, too. Yeah. Pay attention to your surroundings and carry yourself with confidence yeah. as a woman. Because those are the two things that are going to save you. Yeah. It's just it's as simple as that, really. Yeah. Okay, well, of course, any advice for the women drivers out there? You know, yeah, just, the, just, just that. pay attention to your surroundings, definitely. And don't let the men intimidate you. Yeah. Because if you got the skills to do it, you got the skills to do it. Yeah. Show them how it's done. That's my opinion. <laughs> I'll get out here and show you how it's done. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. If I can do the job just as well. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I, I always give props to, to uh, women drivers or female drivers because not a lot of men can do this, this right. type of job. Even though we do drive van, a lot of people can do drive van or reefer or anything right. or just be behind the wheel. Right. Because they just can't. They don't want to drive. Right. You know, if they can't drive a four-wheeler, they can't drive this. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, so, your husband, this is your husband over here. I don't mm -hmm. know. He won't be on there, but. No, he's he's a behind-the-camera kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, so, he's, so he's been on the trucks ever since you've been. He did. Been um, I had, a, um, I was gone for about two weeks with my orientation and training with Trans Am. And then when I came to Cal Arc, I did another five days with a trainer oh. and three days of orientation. So that's the, we've been split up for a month total a month. out of the okay. whole thing. So yeah, he's been with me from day one. We just hang out. That's he's good. a full-time college student, and uh, so that occupies part of his day, and I drive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was, was pretty cool. That's tough, so because I, I wish I could have some. At least somebody with me. Right. You know, but I, you have to be able to put out. You really have to be. We've been married a long time. We've been married. I'm gonna get in trouble for not knowing. Almost nine years now. So nine years. we've we know how to put up with each other. But you can't put up with each other and live in a box. No, yeah. We we'll drive each other crazy within a week. Yeah. <laughs> you will. Yeah, yeah. Because my son, sometimes he, when he was with me in the truck, he would get irritated mm -hmm. with me and just like. Even though I'm just playing around here, we'll get irritated. Yeah, it's, it's hard being cooped up with somebody yeah. in a box. Yeah, and especially in my truck. Mine's yeah, you have a lightweight, this. yeah. Yeah, yeah right. well, it's not that big. Right. I can literally touch my bed. That's one. Two is this uh, automatic. The, you I don't like it. automatic? No, I, not, not, this t not this automatic. Right. I, I learned how to drive on a 10 speed, so I know okay. how to drive. But yeah. I went straight into an automatic out of school. It, it was kind of a personal choice, but. I'm at yeah. the point now where I'm like, man, I, I really want to get back into a manual. And then we hit a traffic jam like we sat in earlier today. <laughs> I'm like, man, I love this automatic. <laughs> yeah. And, and three is that, uh, is my tag along axle. The tag dead, dead axle? Oh, yeah, I can't stand axle. that dead yeah. axle. I got stuck where we picked up. Yeah. I was yeah. just spinning gravel. Yeah, because you have a dead axle too. Yeah, I got a dead axle on this yeah, one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nothing. Like that's my major problem. Yeah, it's you a know, pain. And, it and the other my other fourth one is the uh, super singles. I don't mind the singles. Uh, not I hate them. Because if you get if you have a blowout, you got to put. Them yeah, over. I've never in a year and a half. I've never actually blown a tire. Mm -hmm. I've lost I've lost tread and I've had leaks like cuts in the sidewall. I've never actually blown a tire on the side of the highway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like now I'll, now I'll blow a tire tomorrow. Yeah. I got duels <laughs> on the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, I got duels on the trailer, but I got super singles on mine. Yeah. I've already had two blowouts on my truck. On the... Uh, but on, they're on the tag-alongs. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and mine but are But I'm like, how in the world did my tag along pop when only two on the front are... Pulling. Are pulling, but well, now you, with the way you saw me earlier when we yes, first met... Yes, when you are trying to slide tandems. Just, yeah, that and even just backing up, bobtail. Uh, yeah, that's up. where I got stuck trying to get underneath it. 
Oh, by the way, uh, Pro Rider says howdy to the both of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. All right, guys, so this is the end. This is Ashley Locks. Uh, he's pretty new. Well, I'll put, your, I'll put her uh, description in this. Her link in the dis description. That thing. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure y'all subscribe to her and stuff. And hit that bell on her stuff. So, so yeah. And she dressed for color, of course. So, see y'all later.